Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a stylist here at Epic Salon in Encino, California. This is my model, Hunter Patrick. And I've got two looks prepared for you today. First look being the natural, I woke up like this. The second look gonna be the classic slick back. All right, so I just got done washing Hunter's hair with uh, Mitch's double hitter, sulfate free two in one shampoo. Um, sulfate free being, it's gonna be easy on the hair. Two in one is fast and easy. I mean, what guy doesn't love that, you know? And um, we're gonna set ourselves up for success with this blow dry, and I'll show you a couple tips along the way. I got two techniques for you guys today to achieve this messy look. One of them being is we're gonna take the palm of our hand and swirl it across the top of the head. The other one is gonna be, we're gonna create these pieces throughout the hair by twisting and blow drying at the same time. So now you've got the product in your hand, we're gonna work it around everywhere. Palms, fingertips, we want it everywhere. We're only gonna apply with the fingertips. I like to get it in between the fingers too, as I use this raking technique, and I use my fingers as a comb. And you know, it really just gets it where you need it, and you're not oversaturating any spot. And I'm gonna keep on reapplying from the palms to my fingertips to evenly distribute throughout the hair. Now that we've got the product distributed evenly throughout the hair, we're gonna go through and just do some detailing to get the shape that we want that's gonna complement Hunter's face the best. So I'm gonna go through, and I like to do these techniques where you know I kind of lift and I'm pushing down and kind of setting the hair to create this shape that I think complements Hunter's face the best. Using a bit of uh, pushing and pulling to get some separation throughout the hair and really define this hair, you know? You wanna accentuate the texture that, you, that he has, you know? And the, the texture you're creating with this product. We want it to look interesting. We don't want it to look dull. We want lots of stuff to look at. You can't just look at him once and be like, oh yeah, pass it on. You know, we want him to be an interesting man. All right, now we finish Hunter's messy, I woke up like this look, and um, you know, I think this look is very attainable for uh, you know, any day at work or a night on the town, and um, I think it's a piece that everyone will enjoy when you're out and about. I hope you enjoy it. All right, we're ready to start the second look, uh, the classic slick back. I just shampooed Hunter's hair with a heavy hitter, which is deep cleansing shampoo. It's a great shampoo, and uh, you know, it really cleanses the hair and sets you up for your, uh, your, next, uh, your next event. Um, so now that Hunter is uh, out of work and he's ready to go out at night, maybe he wants to look a little classier, you know, we're gonna start off with using Steady Grip Flake Free Gel. It's really gonna give us the foundation to, uh, to achieve this look. And uh, I'm gonna start blow drying and I'll show you some tips along the way to ensure success. All right, so I'm gonna apply a quarter size to Steady Grip into my palm. And we're gonna work it through. I'm gonna grab my 413 sculpting brush I want to show you a couple techniques to ensure that you get the best style that you're going to need for this look. All right, so here's a little tip. Um, while you're blow drying, you're going to take your 413, and you're going to apply it right to where the part is, because we want to get some nice lift where this part is to create this nice square shape off of this head. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the brush, we're going to pull it back on the hair, and then lift it out so we're getting ultimate lift right here, you know? This is going to allow you to, uh, to get some great volume on the side of this head. So with this last technique, I'm going to add another thing in. Because when you're doing that, you want to be applying with medium heat so you don't burn your client or you don't want to burn Hunter. Um, you're going to add a cool shot right here just to solidify and really freeze in that and get the maximum hold you want. It's going to last throughout the night. Um, you're really heating up the hair to where you want it to give it the lift, and then you're cooling it down to allow that to stay right there. So now that we've finished the blow dry, we're gonna go ahead and use Mitch's Barber's Classic. It's a moderate hold, high shine. Um, the thing about this product that I love is, um, you know, it's not like other pomades. It's easy to work through the hair, and it easily gets out of the hair. And um, it really allows you to, uh, to customize your look. It really separates and defines each individual hair on his head. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply about a dime size, work it through our hands, evenly distribute it, and um, make sure we're not oversaturating any areas, and make sure we got it everywhere we need. Alright, so now we're going to work it through our hands, applying it through and in between the fingers. We're going to evenly distribute it throughout the hair. Really making sure that we get every single part of the hair. I think a lot of people just put product to the top. I think it looks good when it's everywhere. Because styles and born, it's groomed. 
Now that I've got most of it out of my hands, you can really start working it in there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my comb and really work this into how I want it and shape it to where I want it to be because that's what's great about this pomade. You know, it really allows you to do what you please. Now that we've gone through and fully detailed Hunter's hair, this is the final look for Barbara's Classic, Classic Slickback. Um, it's a great look for when you want to go out, put on your suit and tie, and look like a classic gem. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it.